Alright guys, got a video in for you and this is Inatex IPX8 waterproof cell phone case and it's like a, a sleeve bag now perfect for the outdoorsy people of you so uh, in fact really this sort of thing if you if you go sort of like backpacking mountain biking and you like to be out in the dirty weather as well then I think something like this is probably a must if you're going to carry your device with you now this will take sort of like right up to the size of something like a, an iPhone 6 plus it says it'll cover a screen display from 4 inch to 5.7 inch so let's get it open. Got another one of the, I like these bags actually. So there's the, uh, the pouch itself. And you also get a lanyard. And actually that's a, a nice touch that the lanyard, it's got their branding on, but it's also made out of plastic, which is ideal with it being sort of, uh, you know, it's meant for waterproofing basically. So let's put that there, have a quick look in here. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to show you this uh working and uh, i'm always a bit nervous about sort of uh waterproof stuff it always makes me nervous but um i'm i'm gonna give it a go so uh you better uh, you better appreciate this guys because i don't do things like this with my uh, iphone 6 plus so it's got the instructions there anyway uh, waterproof 100 percent sealed and waterproof uh now it does tell you uh, that you have to sort of uh, conduct a test first of uh, putting like uh, some paper or cotton inside and shake the bag in water for at least three minutes and then wipe it off and check the paper uh, which I definitely will be doing guys and you've got a, a notice of use on there basically uh, you know telling you that basically if your if your device gets ruined it's your own fault so uh you know i will be checking first so uh here goes guys okay guys you better really appreciate this so here we go i'm going to slide this into here i have done the test please do not ignore the instructions so that's it it's slid in and then all we do is we put those little tags there now just be aware you do get a little bit of build up in water here uh, when you open it again, so you'd want to dry that off before you took your device out. So if we put them through there, and then we just lay them flat. That's it. It's sealed shut. You do get a bit of water build up here and there, but just be aware of that uh, before you go taking anything out. And as you can see, I still have control over my screen. Right, I've just connected to uh, some shady Wi-Fi from just down the street. Uh, <laughs> No, not really, just a, a local hotspot because I, I don't get my, uh, my hub doesn't reach very well up here, to be honest. So uh, let's have a look. So that was the last video I did a week ago. And I can even hear that quite loudly through there as well. And uh, here it goes, guys. And I can still hear it. <laughs> so there you go. I mean, I've ragged that around in the water with a bit of tissue in and the tissue came out bone dry. So uh, that means it passed the test. So there you go. And uh, as you can see, now let's see if I can, he seems to sort of like losing. It's, it's obviously to do, um, I mean, I've sort of thought about this before. And uh, basically it's about the conductivity of your fingers. So say if you wanted to, um, Let's say if you wanted to, uh, let me just stop that. So if you wanted to um, take pictures with it or anything like that, you'd be a bit hard pushed because um, you, you struggle to even reach like your side button, so you couldn't even do it properly like that. But I suppose what you could do is if you wanted to take video. Uh, so let's just put that into video now, and I'll turn it around that way and set it going and then basically you could then go swimming and say hi there you know so uh <laughs> but uh, no i don't see you know I mean, it, it, it's it's a surprisingly cheap way of um you know basically being able to uh take your phone swimming get some underwater shots bit of underwater footage of some fish or whatever while you're on holiday so uh, yeah, there you go, guys. I mean, 
just be aware that if you're going to get something like this, just be 100% sure that you do check those instructions. Very important because I'm not going to be held responsible for your uh, device getting wrecked and neither is Inertech. So a big thank you to Inertech for sending this out for review. And that's it guys. That's it from me and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys. See you.